Oh, JD here, Tyrrell Lewis, and we are back once again for another F1 2021 hot lap and setup. This time we're at France, Paul Ricard, and this is the current leadable so far, FRA Ron Ha. I've got some other very good drivers, Chris Parry, which is Pinecone, Viper, Kimira, Vipers, FRA. There's a lot of good people who've done it already, so this would be quite a good test. Uh, this track is one of my favorite tracks to drive. I absolutely love this track. Probably along with this Silverstone and Suzuka are tracks with a lot of high speed direction changes. Uh, I really enjoy. So as usual, go gloss over this first lap uh, and then we'll go and analyze it on the second one. I have been told that there may be a patch coming out to uh, nerf the speed of the cars. Apparently they are just a little bit too fast, so we might have to revisit uh, some of these setups, um, which will be a shame because these setups, the one I'm using here, I feel like I'm understanding more and more every single day. This one here, I feel like they're just getting better and better, and I use these setups online exactly the same as what these videos are, and they've been working uh, very, very well uh, for me because tire wear and tire temps are not really particularly an issue on this game at the moment in my opinion and you can see going up that bump with this setup uh, curbs and bumps are a really big problem i really chew my car to make sure it's very good over the bumps and one thing with the setups as well tt i wouldn't really a base if a setup is really good or not even if it is a world record for me a good setup is one that is very usable and you're very consistent with and it's good to use online because there are plenty of setups that you can just set a good lap with and in TT all it takes is one amazing lap out of a hundred um, just to get it right but it doesn't mean it's usable and you're consistent with with it whereas with me I much prefer setup where I'm very consistent with which you saw in the previous up we did a 0.8 or 9 as well and validated and now we're coming across the line it's a 26.833 which was enough for P2 again on the leaderboard. And the servers were down at this time, so my lap didn't actually upload, which is a little bit annoying, but that was enough for P2. So as always, we're going to dissect this lap. So going into the turn one, really wanted to be going so in fast out, but you have to attack it as well. So just before you touch this curb, that's where we'll be breaking. And then you can see I'm already starting to turn in. Take a lot of this curb, have to absolutely mountainous so really try and stay far left as you can and then come across here don't fully mount but put half your car on this one and then use all of the track on the exit you have to use you have to maximize the track available to you around this circuit and now we're going to go in slow motion just before the 50 meter ball that's when you turn it mount this curb again do the same for the left hander really have to hook your left wheel there stay as far left as you possibly can hit this curb on the inside but not too much Make sure you don't run outside the white line here. Revving out in the third gear. Once we do that, go up into fourth. And then you really have to be as early as you dare on the throttle. A, left, a flat out left hander coming onto straight here. And we navigated that pretty nicely. You have to use all of the track coming into South Tander. It's an absolute must. And here is just as the blue part of the curb starts. Have to brake very, very hard. Mount this curb on the inside, similar to turn one. You have to do that, otherwise you're just going to be losing so much lap time. And then here, make sure you have your right wheel on that second part of the curb where it's a little bit higher uh, than the rest of it, because that will really drag you around and give you some great traction. So you really have to maximize the track here. This is a very simple corner, but make sure you use the curb on the inside again, because you want to minimize the distance of the track. As a 50 meter board, as you pass it, that's where you want to start turning it. And now you just have to throw in the car I take a really wide line here um, and then kiss this on the inside. Try to be as early on the throttle as you dare. Go all the way out to the right. Put most of your car on that blue spot. Do a very late apex through here. Going down to third gear, but short shifting to fourth just to maximize the traction. Run all the way onto this exit curb. And as this exit curb finishes, that's where you want to start to be turning it again. Just throw in as much speed as you can. Go onto this curb and stay as far left as possible for this last corner. 
first gear so for extra rotation but double shifting to third as a wheel straight that's where we want to go on the drs and fully mount the throttle and coming across the line it's a 26.8 which again like canada uh, i do spend a long time in this so i think there's quite a bit more time available and you can see the servers weren't working at the moment because there's the down for maintenance or something like that, which might be the patch who knows but you can see i'm using seven nine wings which is actually different to ron ha and other people who use seven eight i think this would be even better in a race situation just having that more downforce and for the tire wear 8256 seems to be my sweet spot all the way to the right for the front camber just to make sure the car is nice and controllable on the way into the fast speed corners. Rear camber, we need a lot of it for the low speed rotation. Front toe for the high speed grip. And rear toe, I pretty much always put to the left. So a little bit different from the ones before, but this one felt very nice to me indeed. Suspension, 1.5, so you need it for that rotation. Uh, a little bit softer still, just to make sure it's good over the curbs. 2.8 for the high speed grip you need. And 2.726 really is my go-to. 156 for the brakes that really hasn't changed and for this one tire pressures are pretty much central uh, for the fronts and um, just to make sure we have a really good balance and for the rears just making sure the rears have that high speed grip and um, that you need not too much low speed rotation so for me i, I was really happy with that um with that lap as well i definitely feel that a six or maybe even a high five is possible if i absolutely know that i think in the last sector there were a few corners that could have been done a little bit better but we will save that for another video when we come back and um, try and get the outright world record but this setup is going to work very very well online these exact setups i use online um, i don't change anything um, from the setups you're seeing here and they've been very very good for me so far so i hope you are enjoying it i hope you enjoyed the grand prix it was a little bit of a spicy one <laughs> this weekend um, but as always, I hope you're enjoying the game. Thank you for the support. And as I said before, we'll be doing some other content, longer videos, once really I get these hot laps uh, done and dusted out of the way um, for your benefit, I hope. So thank you so much. Catch you soon. Peace.